When I became president of a Rotary Club, it was the first time the club ever had to buy a sound system so people could hear me talk. And that kind of set the tone for my speaking from that point forward. You know how time compresses as you get older? Things kind of wrap together. Trying to put dates to things, I found, was a very difficult situation to do. Gary already covered part of my background, but I wanted to add one more item. Lake Havasu City, back in 69-70, uh, was a one-way-in stop. There was no road going south because they hadn't built the Bill Williams Bridge. So if you're coming to Lake Havasu City back then, you had to travel over an old highway. And I think what they'd done when they built the highway coming into Havasu, they had taken a bulldozer, ran it over the hills, through the washes, they hadn't graded anything level, and then they just had a, a truck laying pavement behind that bulldozer. It was quite a ride coming into Lake Havasu City. Uh, uh, any of you who were here back then can remember every time you took that road, you, it was a bit interesting. You'd come up, go over a wash, you'd come up to the top of a hill, and suddenly there was no road in front of you because the road turned at the top of the hill. From that point, nobody had ever heard of a traffic signal per se. That was in the future. Uh, I drove down here today and had to go through about four traffic signals and started thinking, that wasn't too, too bad. Because uh, you could get around town, you could go any place in town in five minutes. You got here, you got to remember McCulloch was selling land. And they had bulldozed off all of the vegetation that was previously there to set up land for sale. And you could come out the nautical end and look back at Lake Havasu City and the only green spot was that golf course for nine holes. They got the other nine holes open, I don't know, a few years after I got here. Uh, so Lake Havasu City was an interesting place to go to. You had to want to get here because you couldn't go through nothing going south. Uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, starting life over from a divorce or from a bankruptcy or just wanting to have a new life. And Havasu is built on a dream. And that dream was initiated by Bob McCullough and C.V. Woods. The dream of what could be in the future. And that's the only reason anybody ever came to Havasu, was that dream, because they bought into the dream, they believed in it. And uh, I think most of us were right. I can always remember my year as president of the Rotary Club, uh, because I had three things that happened that year. My first child was born, I became a father. I uh, became a president of Mojave State Bank, and I was president of the Rotary Club. And it made for a very interesting year, I'll guarantee you that. I, I will tell you, for those of you that don't know, uh, Bob's legacy of leadership is really, really deep in this town. You'll never hear the things that he's done um, over and over again out of the goodness of his heart and caring for the town. So thank you, Bob.